going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Okay, and we're back. All right, I'm pretty sure if Patrick Star watches, <laughs> if Patrick Star watches these videos, he's like, oh my God, this bitch again. Why is she reviewing my sh stuff, girl? You know what I'm saying? Like very much that. Very quickly, this video is sponsored the house by Manscaped. They're now shipping to New Zealand, Australia, and the United Kingdom, so definitely check them out. It's waterproof, TSA friendly, and rechargeable. I'm not gonna steer you wrong. I have a discount code down below, and it automatically applies at checkout. And thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the drama. Okay, so with that being said, but honestly, like I have reviewed everything you Patrick Stars came out with. Um, I didn't mean to, it just kind of happened. It was like overly hyped and I bought it and it turned out great. The palette was great. The taking off the makeup thing was great. The makeup wipes were great. Like I individually reviewed everything and here we are again. And this time it's no different. So we have the Patrick Star One Size Beauty Setting Powder. And I knew this was coming to me. This needs to be as hyped up as it, everything else needs to be. Okay, now I've had on my makeup for a few hours. It's uh, extremely oily here. My oils are coming through. I've had it on for a very, very long time and my makeup is just starting to like deteriorate. This could be a good thing. I always said, I always said that if your makeup starts to do oiliness and you should just take it all off and put a fresh new paint. But sometimes we don't have time. So in this case, for the purpose of this video, I let my face kind of just get like that so I can see if this powder can set the makeup or what it, that's how I use it, you know? I'm gonna use it to bake a little bit, maybe give me some highlight, that glowy look I like. And so, I don't know, we'll see. So here we go. This has a lot of hyper on it for me because Patrick Starr, I think it was last year or the year before that, came out with a collaboration with MAC Cosmetics and he had his own setting spray with MAC and it was a hit. Everyone loved it. It sold out, I think the first time around. Then they brought it back again and there was drama with that, but overall it was great. So I'm pretty sure Patrick Starr paid very, very close attention to detail when it came to this packaging and also the ingredients is to make sure that it was if not up to par with his MAC setting powder or better. So I'm really excited for that. So this is where the packaging came in. There was two colors. This is the one that suits me the best. It does have talc in it. And just so that you know, the setting powders that I really, really love, I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder. I think it's absolutely amazing. The Laura Mercier, the, how do you say it? That was a really great one. I also really enjoyed the Jeffree Star setting powder, really great. Juvia's Play setting powder, really great. Alani Cosmetics setting powder is really great. And then this one, will it be a part of my holy grail? If they, if this is really great and this comes out to be a tried and true, I hope Patrick Starr listens and makes a miniature version, one for like travel. You know how like brands do that? Like I think I have one right here. Yeah, so here's one right here. I got this in a Sephora advent calendar thing. This is the Peachy Perfect Too Faced Cosmetics. See how it's like super small and cute? It's very travel. So I, I hope that if this is a hit, Patrick does a travel version. Okay, so let's talk about it. Let me see, talc in it. Oh yeah. That's what I was talking about, talc. All of my setting powders that I really enjoy have talc in it. If you guys know of a setting powder that is really amazing, that does not contain talc, please let me know. I would love to try it. But as for now, all the setting powders that I really enjoy contain talc as literally the first or one or two third first ingredients up there. And then you got calcium, aluminum, and then stuff like that. I'm not gonna go into that. But here's what it says on the box here. It says a super fine 14 hour long wear blurring setting powder. 14 hours, wow, okay. Blurring, I need a lot of that. Made for a light bake to a heavy cake. Directions, dust with powder brush and bake with the puff for a soft matte finish with no flashback. There is a Patrick Star puff. I, I totally forgot to get it, but it's shaped really nice. So that way you can really chisel and stuff like that. I didn't get it, I'm sorry guys, whatever. Okay, but I just wanted to tell, I was so excited just for this. I didn't think about getting the puff or anything else. Okay, so let's, let's begin. Wait, hold on. Very interesting tea. Patrick Star setting powder. All right, let's see how this goes. I do like how heavy it is. Like it feels really good in the hand. It feels like very well thought out. This is popping out. That's kind of fun to like go like that. It just really looks nice. The color is aesthetically pleasing. I've been noticing a lot of brands doing like this soft pink and I, I love it. All right, opening it up this way. Here's what we have here. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, cool. And then here. This is, oh, how do you do this thing? Hold on. I, I've never seen a setting powder do this that has this mechanism here. Very, very well thought out. Um, let's see if I can get it. I do wish that the, the pull tab was longer, but the, you know, at this point I'm just like nitpicking. There we go. But I was able to get it. 
but I don't have any nails, so totally up to you guys. Oh my gosh, this is it. Okay, so in here it says uh, one size, so OS, and you have the slash in the middle. And um, I'm just kind of old school. I would typically go like that and put it into here and it gets really messy, but let me see if I was to go like, I, I don't know what I'm doing right now, hold on. I saw the video, but I kind of forgot. No, that's pretty great. It just, it all stayed in there. So even though I closed it and this, it all stayed in there. Okay, so let me see if I can kind of shake it and it comes out a little bit, but I, I do think we're still gonna have to do a lot of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just tap and it's like, like it looks like it's snowing and there it goes right there. I'm gonna put this down and I'm just gonna go ahead and just like really try to get a lot out because I need a lot. I need a lot of powder for this face. Okay, I got it. I think I got it. I got some, yeah, here we go. So there's what I got. I was hoping for a little more. Some of it's like in little balls. I don't know if you can kind of see, there's like little chunks of balls in there. There you go, one just like kind of like, they're all kind of hiding out, but yeah, there, there they go again. Watch, they're gonna fall down. There you go. So like, uh, some of them are in little balls. I can, I can, you just touch them and they like crumble and crush. Okay, great. So let me see, how am I gonna do this? I think I'm just gonna get, um, mm, I'll get one. Oh, right here you go. The Morphe Jaclyn Hill, J-H. Wait, how, I can't, girl, I can't see these lashes on, girl. J-H-03 brush. That's what we're gonna use. Here it is. And I'm gonna dip, I'm gonna dip it in here. And, oh yeah, there it goes. Okay, so first, I'm gonna do my nose. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna just I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. And you guys, you see, you see this right here? You see all that like oiliness. Let's see if it can um if it can fix that. Oh it goes, oh it goes quick. I'm done. I need more. I need a lot more, girl. Hold on. This is the every translucent setting powder. Sorry if I'm making too much noise. That's how you know. Guys, I take back what I said. I take back what I said. Look, that, yes, yes, this is, ah, it fell everywhere. <laughs> yes, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna put this up a little bit. Should I take this off? Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my, oh, everyone's in trouble now. Hide your man, hide your girlfriend, hide your husband's girl. Oh, honey, I'm about to set my whole face. Mm-hmm, mm, mm, mm. You don't understand what I'm talking about because, listen, I love, <laughs> drop my brush. I love the setting powders that I named, but it just, I'm in this one, for this much product to come out, inside it. Oh, honey, okay. Well, since my brush fell, I'm gonna try another brush. This one is the Sonia, I think, Kush, Kushak, I think I got it at Target. I know I got it at Target for sure. I like how it's all gold and like that. So I'm just gonna pick some more up. Oh honey, oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Get off that shine. I wanna look matte the house. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now I'm not gonna use it to bake. Usually I would use it underneath my, <laughs> usually I would use it underneath my eyes to bake, but I, I can't because I already have this stuff there. But I think I'm pretty well powdered up. I'm gonna put some back in here. The only like negative thing that I have to say about the product, and it's not like, that, it's not that it's messy because all translucent powders are messy, girl. It's like, you go you go backstage of any show, it's your, this powder is gonna be everywhere, girl. But I'm, what I'm trying to say is like, the negative thing I have to say about this product is, hold on, I had it in my head and I lost it. Can I find it? Where is it at? Hold on. Hold on. Got it. The, okay, now I remember. Okay, negative thing I say about this product is that there's just two colors. And I would want a translucent powder. This is my opinion, who am I? A translucent powder that is like like a snow white or like a white. Um, most translucent powders are gonna come in a different colors of like a nude or very like skin tone-ish. This one was like that color, but then some people they go into like deeper browns or richer browns or warmer tones, and then there's always like that super like white, like literally like this type of like white translucent powder. That's the one I like, and this brand doesn't have it because they just have two. But when it's that translucent powder, I put it here, and it, it does give me that oh that fresh waking look. But I don't know, maybe this will do it too. Maybe I'm doing it wrong the whole time. But that's just my little critique, which is that. But I'm pretty sure as the Patrick Star One Size Beauty brand grows, that they will have um, more colors and stuff like that. So here's my brush, big powder brush for those who care. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe. <laughs> 
Hold on, girl. You, you know I can't see, girl. J and J H O one. All right. So let us see. Here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, remember how oily, oily that was? Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna be fair. I'm really gonna blend. I'm gonna go circular little motion. Mm -mm. There's no scent to it at all. Some people add like a light scent of something. This one had no scent at all, which I prefer things that have no scent. Sometimes I want them to, sometimes I don't. Okay. Then I wanna fix my lips. I'm gonna use the 2020 Holiday Collection Christian Dior Lip Thick. Let's see here. Uh -huh. I uh, set my lips too, okay. Oh, I think this is, this is such a pretty color. I don't know why I hate it so much. I, I'm ready for showtime. Hold on guys, hold on. Okay, for those who care, this is color 70 in the holiday collection. Okay, it's really cool packaging. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh, bitch, I look good. Hell yeah. All I have to do now is like bronze my face up a little bit. Mm-mm-mm. Mm, -mm. mm I, uh, I could, I could have did a little better here. Let me see. Cause this is, as you saw earlier, this is what really gave me some problems there. Just don't pay attention to that, okay? I love you so much. All right, and that's it. That's my look. That was my review of the Patrick Star One Size Beauty Setting Powder. I like it. It does have a shelf life of 12 months, so keep that in mind. I'll probably already use it. Um, pros and cons. Good, the bad, and the bottom line. The pros. I love how it had, okay, that thing that opened up here and how it had that slit in the middle, the giant slit, so I can get way more product out. I love that. That's my pro. My con, I wish it had a lighter color, translucent color or whatever. So I can think, but that's just for my personal reasons, whatever. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, it worked. I have nothing negative to say about it. It worked, it said what it was gonna do. It set my makeup. My oiliness was trying to push through and the setting powder said, no girl, go back inside. And so, yeah. Congratulations, Patrick Star, another home run product. I think it's amazing. I hope that you sell out and that everyone loves it as much as I do. Great product, and I'm proud of you. So guys, if you like this video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters when they watch it. They lost 10 minutes of their life and never get back. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.